Hey, it's, 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 it's me. T from the Pattersons taking her tangents a bit. Hey, well, whew, I went out from it. Anyway, I've been resting. I've been sleeping. Well, that's whatever sleep. Uh, it's, what time is it? Midday? Ooh, it's past midday. I'm at my afternoon nap time. Whoa, I went back to sleep by time. Or whatever. And look, I got some Yoda's Yogi tea that had, uh, that was the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, licorice, Egyptian licorice tea. And then I got this, uh, this was um, one of these, like something, well, look, her, her, Harney and Sons. See, they even got the whole thing on there. They, they passed it down. They got some lineage to pass down, man. A tea company, you know, that fancy tea bag I was showing you? Let me show you that fancy tea bag. See that one right down there? It's a fancy tea bag. It's like, like a mesh kind of thing. This other one is a regular flow through tea bag. They don't call it flow through because I guess Lipton got that name. Right? And uh, so that that's that one is li licorice and ginger. Sort of, you know, like that. But I'm that's from, from like a, the other day. So I'm like, you know, you're not supposed to reheat. I guess you're not supposed to, who knows? But I am gonna pimp it up with some Robos Chai. Robos Chai. Robos South Africa, Chai India. See that's Southern Hemisphere. I'm feeling the Southern Hemisphere now. I'm really Okay, I shouldn't say that. I'm not really. Well, yes, I am. I'm going to leave New York and go to St. Louis because they won't let me back in South Africa yet. So I take this Robo's Chai. I like this Robo's Chai. And I pump that other stuff up with it. The licorice. See, licorice is good for your, <coughs> your lungs like that. So you got you to gotta deal with your lungs, you know, with this, with this uh, viruses and stuff like that. and Fluids and stuff like that. But here's what we're going to do today. I don't want to call it off day, but I'm preparing myself for my train ride on my birthday. So, you know, I want some inspiration. Then again, there's a lot of stuff happening in the world. So what do I turn to? Krishnamurti. Hey! <laughs> I've been reading my Krishnamurti. Let, let me just, look. Um, I got the book from uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., but his book is like a reference book. Every once in a while, you pick it up, you da 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 But he's on every week on Wednesday, so I use him as my preacher. So I sort of listen to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I do it every week, and it's like my like, like my sermon every week. Like like when I visit, uh, my last days, my, I shouldn't say last days like that, but when, uh, when I visit my grandmother, uh, what we would do is like 9 o'clock on Sunday, but like at 9 o'clock in the morning, she listened to, you know, for an hour, she listened to the, the, the Catholic hour or something, some mass, whatever it is, you know what I mean? And she'd go on through the Sunday, then then up at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, she'd get to, to, to Gil Noble, like it is, you know what I mean? Hey, my grandmother was. Anyway, so, when well, these things I'm trying to say, these programs, you know, you're not supposed to, they're references, right? Anyway, so, let me not wax on. I'm going to read three paragraphs to you. Well, maybe two, maybe three. See one? I got this thing highlighted for some reason. Anyway, I'm just going to read this down here onto there right there. And and this right up here. Then I might go to this last, last thing right there. No, let me tell you. Uh, these, these days, it's like, I guess it was old. What they would do um, is like they have a lecture or something like that. Well, he have a lecture or something like that. And then they have question and answers. So this is one of those things where they put the question and answers, you know, in, in the book, you see, like that. Like what I'm doing with the channel. You know, it's like I wax whatever. I just rant, you know, whatever, whatever. It's just like things out of my life and down and down. That, that, that could be like whatever it could be at some particular point. Now the interviews are something else. That, that you should you should, you should be listening to me. Go to the interview. There's a playlist that's interviews. Go to that playlist. Let's go to this stuff there. Because we really have no love and because we have no freedom, because we have no love, we have no freedom. We use words to control our thoughts, to shape our hearts and feelings, and we are satisfied. Surely love may be the only way of revolution. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, is it tea too hot yet? What did you mention? The word revolution? Oh man, love, revolution is the same sentence. What do you say? Uh, not yet. It's too hot. I don't want to burn. I can't burn with this. Oh, my goodness. It is the only way. Wow. Mm. But most of us object to revolution. Uh, I, there, you, there you go. Most of us object to revolution. Actually, I object to revolution, too, because I'm more of an evolution, evolutionist, you know, evolutionary. I'm not a revolutionary. So I guess I reject revolution, too. I'm one of those. Okay? Most of us uh, object to revolution. Not only... 
the superficial, the economic revolutions, but the more essential, the deeper, the more significant revolution of thought, the revolution of creation. Whoa, right there. Okay, now I'm back on degree with him. He said, most of us should check revolution, uh, revolutions, not only the superficial, you know, the, hey, let's get out there, beat up something, blah, 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 right? Uh, the economic revolutions. Okay, now this is interesting because we get into I get kind of economic thing right now because of all this pandemic and, and you know the, the, they come there with their money and they bail out their friends that they won't they won't give you, that they won't bail out the citizenry you know what I mean it's, yeah they work right so that's that's superficial that's economic you know it's all with that paper money I mean, it's worthless anyway you know so suggestion get into some cryptocurrency while you can let me put it, put one foot in cryptocurrency the other foot in your faithful fiat thing that's that you have faith in okay so that's superficial anyway but the more essential now you get me because I'm going to the deep, the deeper. He used the word right there. You know, you know how Gilcott is. Gilcott Harrison says this thing that he would, you know, he would be do, doing these college tours all the time. So it's inevitably, somebody come up with a poem. You say, look at this poem. And Gilcott be looking at it. He says, "Oh, I see the words. They're dead deep. They're deep. Really deep. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, it sound deep, but." You know, we want to go deeper. Okay. The more significant revolution of thought, the revolution of creation. Copy there. Uh-huh. Thinking of, you think of something that's, you You have revolutionary thoughts that, no, that not, not nobody else is thinking of, but basically you, 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 you had a thought and you built, you built other thoughts on that thought. If I can say it that way? Yeah, like that, something like that. Okay, and creation, that's the whole thing. My thing is like creation. It's like, uh, yeah, you can go out there with a gun, whatever you want to do with, hey, depend legislation, whatever. But the thing that, the thing that really sparks thing is your creative energy. You know, you're, instead of your singers and whatever have you trying to push their own product, they should be pushing revolution. You know, every song that come out right now, every poem that come out right now, should be about, when I say revolution, I mean the change of the situation because this is this is this untenable, the current, you know, we're in. Okay, anyway, since we object to that, we are always reforming on top. Ah, you see, police reform, this reform. No, I don't want reform because it's still based on the stuff that you put in place. Okay, I'm going off. Okay. Patching up here and there with words, with threats, with ambitions. There you go. I've, since we object to that, talking about revolution, whatever, and increase, whatever, we are always reforming on top. Patching up here and there with words and threats and ambitions. You see? Not good. Next paragraph. Okay, I'll read it straight through. I won't stop. I, I, I don't promise you, but I won't stop. Here we go. We say at the end of this that I have no answers. You, oh, oh no, no, you will say at the end of this that I have not answered your question. What is my duty to society, my father, to myself? That's the question. I mean, that's the quotes. I say, that is a wrong question. Oh, now you're going to deflect me. The boy asked a question, man. Answer the question. He said, that's the wrong question. Okay. If you want to answer his question, you want to answer his own question. But here's what the right question is. Here we go. It is a question put by a mind that is not free. Whoa, now I get you. A mind that is not in revolt, whoa, a mind that is docile, submissive, a mind that has <laughs> no love. <sighs> I'm not even gonna read that again. Just real rolling things back and pay for yourself. Whoa, docile, you have no love in your mind if you ain't changing, you know, the reform is not, if you, okay, wait a minute. Can such a mind that is docile, submissive, without love, <laughs> With that shadow of bitterness ever be dutiful to society or to itself? Can such a mind create a new world, a new structure? Or, Krishna Murti, how did not? I gotta take a sip. Uh, whoa, man. Uh, let me take these tea bags out. Man, man, oh man, oh, take these tea bags out. Uh, did you hear that? Did you hear? I, I'm sorry. I told you I wasn't going to go back, but I'm going to go back. Here's the question he asked. They asked some other question. Irrelevant. I irrelevant. Irrelevant question. I used a big word there. Sometimes I trip up on big words. Don't worry about that. Can such a mind, a mind, a mind, remember, a mind 
that is docile, submit wicked. Babe. Can such a mind that is docile, submissive, without love, with that shadow of bitterness, bitterness for you know, knowing that realizing that you ain't free, that you da da da. da well, that's on, on my interpretation. You read it as you will. Can can a mind can a mind can such a mind create a new world, a new structure? Now, as we're going through all the stuff that we're going through, ask yourself: Are you going to create a new structure, a new world, a new whatever? If you ain't, you ain't got no courage. You docile. You submissive. You without love. That's what that's what the man's saying, Krishna Murti. Okay. Let me go to this last paragraph here. Run down, run down here, right there. Remember, this is from the book uh, On Freedom, Krishna Murti, On Freedom. Just look, just, you know, find a boy. You don't have to read it like straight. It's not like reading a novel. You know, you pick it up, and read, well, I, I'm reading it straight. Up, but the point is, you do what you want. I had to go back, I have to read back here because I'm, whatever. Because I, I want to bring up this point here. I've been wanting to bring it up for weeks, not weeks, but, you know. Love is the most revolutionary thing. Whoa! Love is the most revolutionary thing. But the mind cannot conceive that love. Love is the most revolutionary thing, but the mind cannot conceive that love. Uh-oh. You cannot cultivate it. It must be there. It is not a thing to be grown in your backyard. Throwing seeds. It is a thing that comes into being with constant inquiry. Answers, as Mr. Neil Fulgen, questions, questions, questions. Constant discontent. I don't like this circumstance. The boy got the, man got his knee the, 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 on my neck. And revolt. When you never follow authority, when you never follow authority, when you are without fear, when you never follow authority, when you without fear, this is important, right? Which means when you have the capacity to make mistakes and from those mistakes to find out answers. In this world today, people are afraid of making mistakes. They feel like if I make a mistake and I fall down in this race, they will just trample me. They will not, here we go, help me up. A mind that is without fear is really not pretty, petty, P-E-T-T-Y, petty. And it is capable of real depth. Then such a mind shall find out what love is, what freedom is. Hey, I'm going to leave you with that. You know, I have this other interpretation. My bookmark. I'm back here someplace. Where's my bookmark fall out? Oh, I'm back here someplace. Oh, I got to figure out where I am. I I'll throw it any place. Uh, man, that thing when he said about the... In no, okay, look. Let's leave it there. So I want you all to have a... Um, just know... These words are not for me. This is these are words of wisdom. I mean, I mean, I'm 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 throwing it to you from via well from Krishna Murti via me at an undisclosed location. So there you go. People ask you, where'd you get this from? Say, undisclosed location. <laughs>